Good morning, my friends. It's Friday, November 24th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. It is our last day visiting this extraordinary painting by William Turner. Painted in 1840, this is an angel who has literally got a, a conducting staff and looks like gazing upwards is conducting the birds. Meanwhile, below, if you look carefully on the left-hand side, it looks like people are running from the angel. Afraid, perhaps? But on the right-hand side, we have this person standing up, sort of beholding the angel, and then someone kneeling. It's all very vague and cast in light. But I think we're seeing the dichotomy of the two responses, the people that run the people that just take it in, this messenger of God. Conducting the birds. And an angel appears to John of Patmos today in the book of Revelation. Remember, he's on Patmos, which is this island of rock core. He's doing slave labor, and he has this vision, and the vision is so glorious. And in today's reading, he sees the messenger, the angel, and the angel is magnificent. So he falls down on his knees to worship the angel, and the angel says, no, don't do that. I am just like you. I am a servant of Christ. No, you stand up. You stand up and you worship the only one who is worthy of your worship. Last night I watched The Crown, which is amazing. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but you all know the plot. Diana, who gets worshipped, she becomes truly an idol, dies because people are all over her. The paparazzi are all over her car with Dodi Fayette, and they die. We cannot worship anything that's not God. Not only is it not good for us, it's not good for the thing that we worship if it's a living being. She is literally killed by people's zealous, fabulous fascination with her. They won't leave her alone. So turn your hearts to the only one who is worthy or even capable of bearing your worship. And that is Christ and God. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you. We thank you for the gift of our lives, for the beauty of this earth, for love and friendship and family. We pray, Lord, for peace across this earth. We thank you that there's a bit of respite in the Middle East. Continue to develop peace there. Ukraine, Somalia, all the areas of the world torn apart by war and violence. We ask you to bring peace. We ask you to bless those who are alone in the holidays and those who are sick, those who grieve and mourn, those who struggle with mental illness or addiction, homelessness, incarceration, or any other need. We ask you to give us purpose that we might serve you in our days we might be your hands and feet in this world. All this we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, who even the angels worship and adore. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.